CTV News, Vancouver Island Report. Good evening, thank you for being here. The mountain pine beetle epidemic has ravaged forests in British Columbia's interior, and now you may have seen something like it on the island. There are fears that a similar pest is at work on Vancouver Island woods. It's a worm that is working its way from the North Island to the South, turning trees a shade of crimson. The forest ministry says the pest will not kill our forests, but it will dramatically change the look of the landscape. CTV's Gorge Kerbis has the story. Think of trees on Vancouver Island and this is what comes to mind. Thick, lush green forests. But on the northern portion of the island, entire sections of forests are turning crimson colored. And that is raising red flags. We first noticed some defoliation on areas of the North Island last year, relatively small areas. That area has grown again this year. The problem is being caused by these black-headed budworms, native to Vancouver Island and proving to have a healthy appetite for local forests. It actually eats the needles of hemlock trees. It takes a few few bites out of the needles and the needle subsequently dies, which is the brown color that a lot of people are now noticing on the hemlock trees. The Ministry of Forests first noticed problems being caused by the pest last year and it's been stepping up the monitoring of the budworm's progress as it devours valuable greenery. Aerial tours of the island and portions of Haida Gwaii show the problem is spreading. Our aerial overview surveys were completed about two weeks ago and we're just in the process of digitizing those maps to find out how large of an area is actually impacted. We don't think it's that large, but it's definitely uh, larger than it was last year. Ministry staff have been fielding an increase in recent inquiries by the public and forest license holders. Many are worried if the budworm will have the same devastating effects as the mountain pine beetle. That pest wiped out countless hectares of forests throughout North America. No comparison between the two. Black-headed budworm defoliates the trees, so it eats the new foliage and the tree is defoliated. However, it doesn't usually kill the tree. So while the trees may look bad, they're in fact not dying. According to the ministry, defoliation appears along our coastal trees from mid-July to mid-August before the worms enter their pupil state. Infestation to the insect also comes in cycles. The last uh, outbreak on the North Island uh, to any large extent was in the 1970s. We've seen small patches of defoliation periodically since then. Because the insect normally disappears on its own, the ministry isn't looking at taking any control measures just yet, but that may be reviewed once the results of the aerial and a special ground survey are complete. Gord Kerbis, CTV News.